Usually on Thursdays we do e-liquid reviews, but today we're looking at another mini mod. Hello vapors and vapies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the Live Pour 60 VTC by Yotza Tech. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, so today we are looking at the Live Pour 60, and they do have like the Live Pour 80 and so on, but this is the mini I saw up here on the corner of the box. It said mini, so I was like, I should take a look at this. Now, this is a pretty big box, so I'm figuring, you know, like, I didn't realize, because look, <laughs> just look. Oh my gosh, it's so little. I did not even think it was going to be that little. And look at this beautiful Tiffany blue color. It does come in this blue, red, black, and white. And underneath this layer, it has the user's manual and a warranty card as well. And there's the USB charging cable, an extra coil, which is a ceramic canthal coil, an extra tank piece, and looks like a vape band around that, and an extra glass drip tip. And it is a vape band that comes with the extra glass piece. It's not smoke, it's vapor. That's what this said. So a pink vape band and a Tiffany blue mod. They are after my heart right now. Here's the extra coil it comes with. This is a 0.5 ceramic coil. And here is the little mod. OMG, it's so tiny. There's like a little warning on the glass. Please turn off the airflow hole when you're refilling liquid in case of leaking. Does that come off? That's got to be like a sticker. <gasps> what? Why is that not okay? Yeah, it comes off. <laughs> I was like, I don't want that on my tank. So here is the little mod, OMG. It's so tiny, like, I did not expect it to be this little and I'm in love with it and in love with the color. Here's a tank, it has an airflow adjustability. We have the screen, the fire button, the regulatory buttons, and the charge port on the side. Here's some battery venting holes. It is a 1500 milliamp hour built-in LiPo battery. And the dimensions of this little guy are 65 millimeters by 32 millimeters by 22 millimeters here for this tank. And this is the IGVI T2 atomizer. That's a mouthful. It has three modes, power mode or wattage, temperature mode, and mech mode. In wattage mode, this little guy goes from one to 60 watts, and in temperature mode, it goes from 100 to 300 degrees Celsius, and 200 degrees to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And this can vape a resistance of 0 0.06 all the way up to three ohms. So five clicks to the fire button turns it on. One, two, three, four, five. And it says, live pour 60. Then it reads new or old coil, so you push the plus regulatory button for a new coil and the minus regulatory button for an old coil. So I'll just say it's a new coil because I'm not sure which one they tested this with. And it's reading it at a point. 8, 9, and it is a 0.8 ohm coil in here. I can actually see through the glass onto the coil as to what it is. This tank is a top fill tank, so you just take off this top piece and this little blue ring, and then you can fill into these fill slots. All you have to do to change drip tip is pull off this little top cap piece, looks like a little top hat, and put the glass drip tip on, and I'm gonna do that right now because I definitely like the look of drip glass drip tips better. All right, so there is the glass drip tip. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my tank with this flavor by Modus or Modus Vapors. They are so good. Two of their flavors I really like. This one, which is the Akuma, and I will leave a link below if you want to check out what this flavor is. And then the other one is a strawberry, it's like a, a pink lemonade flavor. So, and it's kind of like, that's a summertime vape for me, so I picked this one because it is more sweet. All right, I'm gonna turn the drip tip all the way open because that's how I tend to like my airflow. Oh my God, it's so cute and little. And I kind of really want to do a one month update on this because I could see this being an on the go mod for me, depending on how it performs today. I could see this like going with me everywhere and in yesterday's vid you guys told me to instead of having Taz locked out and meowing at the door to let him in so I let him in and this is him being very annoying like he wants in so he can be in my lap or so he can play with everything that's on the floor and make a lot of noise and so either way I'm kind of screwed because I have a kitten and he just wants to be a kitten and do kitten things and be with his mom and play with all of that 
packing stuff from vape mail so if you press the fire button three times you can enter the mode option menu which you can go from temperature mode which all the temperatures nickel titanium stainless steel or you can go into mech mode or you can even do an addy lock mode if you press and hold both the regulatory buttons at the same time you go into power lock mode so you can't change the wattage and then to unlock you just press and hold those buttons again to change the wattage super easy you just press the up and down button it does change by 0.1 increments and if you press and hold one of the up or down buttons it'll toggle through at a faster speed so you're not sitting there like click 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 pressing the fire button and the minus button at the same time turns it into stealth mode which means the screen is off it does have protections a boatload of them like overheating and overcharge over discharge and like a 10 20 second cutoff actually all right so i've given this coil a second to wick up i really want to try it out because i'm like hoping that it performs clouds bitch here we go mm. oh that flavor is so good This actually has massive airflow. So this might be one that I personally prefer to have halfway because that's like a massive loud airflow and I want like more cloud. Wow, this little guy and that's only at 37 watts. I do prefer to vape in the 30 to 50 range. I can tell you the flavor is excellent. This, this e-liquid is so delicious and it's coming through really well through this coil. And I mean, the proof is in the cloud, guys. My face looks very shiny and sweaty, but it's not. It's like this cleansing stuff I have on my face, hence I have very little makeup on right now because I'm trying to cleanse away. I have some like deep pimples on my chin right now that I'm trying to clear away before they get painful. If anyone out there has ever dealt with like those really deep pimples that just don't want to come to the surface, I feel you. It is getting a little warm around here, which I don't like when that happens. It's not like too hot, but it is getting noticeably warm. So I'm going to turn it down in wattage and see if it still performs at good at a lower wattage. And that way the tank might not get so hot at the base. So I'm going to take it down to 30 watts. I know with these ceramic coils, you definitely need to vape them at a higher wattage than just a regular old Canthal. But we'll see because I don't want it to be getting hot like that. Definitely less of a cloud at 30 watts, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the airflow down a little bit more. I know that's probably going to make it warmer, but maybe more dense cloud. So it definitely performs better at like 40 watts. I just don't like the fact that this gets warm and I know that's kind of common for smaller devices especially but it's just not my favorite thing in the world so I'll put the airflow all the way open 40 watts mm, gosh I, I mean it is the only thing like, that's the biggest downside for me is the fact that this is getting hot right here otherwise it's performing well it's so little I love it and it's performing greatly with the clouds and the flavor but I just don't dig the heat on it you know I mean it's not coming to here which sometimes I've had what I think was it the Raphael that would get warm on the drip tip but that's not getting warm here but it's getting warm here I mean, overall, it's performing great, though, for my first look video, and it's so stinking cute. And look at that. This literally, like, that's so little. I will leave a link below to this if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. I've never heard of this company before, but, you know, I'm down for mini mods, so, and it's a perfect color, and I do want to continue to use it. So if you want to see a one-month update, please let me know down in the comments below. If I get enough requests, I can definitely make that video. It's not a well-known brand, so maybe people don't know about it, but it is really cute, and it is performing great. The only downside that I can say from my first look video is that it's getting pretty warm right here, but not too hot. Like, I can 
hold it. It's just noticeably warm. But I feel like that happens with almost all like tank atomizer combos, especially if they're metal right here. But I'm just so used to using all-in-ones like my Coopty that I don't experience that anymore. So when I do vape something that has an atomizer atop, I'm like, oh, it's a little warm. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload videos that are not vape related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching. Seriously, my luck with being sick is just not good. Like, I think I might actually be coming down with something again. Like, I just kind of feel, ugh, kind of feel weak. Like, hence my no fucks given for my makeup today and what I look like. Hi, Taz. Mommy doesn't feel good. So, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh.